Well, we've come up to Derbyshire this weekend to visit some friends at Matlock, and it's actually my 28th wedding anniversary today. So it was a late night last night, and I was up at 2.30 this morning. So I've only had about two and a half hours sleep. Helen's still asleep, she's still back in the motorhome. And I thought, oh, what I'll do, I'll nip out early in the morning, I'll go to Derwent Reservoir, and I'll get an image of the bridge. Now this morning, you may have seen, I'm not too sure if I put any B-roll in of, of this, but it was like so foggy, it really was. And I thought, oh, that'd be great. Some nice atmospheric shots across the reservoir. <laughs> it was a total whiteout. Literally, I couldn't see anything. Coupled with the fact there were some, let's say, very merry lads down on the bank with a big bonfire going, which I don't think they should have been doing that, actually. Um, but that was, a, that was my excuse, the fog. But I might even go back there, actually. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, but I've come down to Lady Bower Reservoir. And um, you can see how low the water is here. I mean, look at the plug hole there. That's, I mean, I'm looking down at about at least probably eight or ten feet away, on the bank where I can see. And it's probably, I don't know, perhaps 15, perhaps 20 foot, the reservoir lower than the top of the plug hole at the moment. So I'm gonna try and get set up here, I'll try and get an image here, I'll wait for wait for sunrise, which is in literally about 10 minutes time. Um, and then possibly half past five, I may, I may venture back actually. A slightly precarious balancing position here with the tripod and I'm getting, I'm getting eaten alive by the midges. Oh, this is rubbish. Well, I've got the, the 21 mil on there at the moment, which is just not wide enough. And there's no way that I can actually level the tripod. So I'm just taking probably like six or eight different images and hopefully I can stitch these together. Should work. Oh, these midges. Right, well I didn't put a polarizer on, so I don't think that that needs it, but what I did put on was a, a 0.6 graduated filter on there. Now, I don't know if that's actually gonna harm the image, because obviously by moving it around, ow! By moving it around a lot, obviously I could get artifacts in each different image if I wanna stack it together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do another series of shots uh, without anything on, just literally a naked lens and then I'll probably try and adjust it a little bit in post. Oh, these things are driving me crazy. I don't know how everybody else does it, but whenever I've finished a series of images, whether they be bracketed or anything like that, I'll literally just kind of put my hand in front of the lens uh, just to let me know that that sequence of images have, have finished and now I'm going to go on to the next sequence of images. Quite rudimentary but it works for me. Well, apologies for not filming too much down here, especially B-roll as well, actually. Um, but the, the light was kind of there for a little while and, and I just kind of didn't want to miss it. So I was just trying to get a, a couple of images just before I lost the light. The light wasn't great, um, but it was certainly better than I was expecting first thing this morning. So I'm hoping these images come out okay. I don't like this bit. 
I'll have to cross the field where the cows are. And they're sneaky little buggers. I made it. Well, while everybody's sleeping, I thought I'll come down to the woods at the bottom of the field. And it was really nice. I got here probably, I did leave it until a good half an hour after sunrise. Um, because obviously I wanted the light to come up and try my hand at woodland photography. Now, I didn't vlog much of this because I've never really done this before, but my theory was obviously start on higher ground where the sun was low and get a couple of images there and then start working my way down to lower ground as the sun got higher. Oh. No, I'm mega stuck. I didn't think there was many cows in that field. I've come down into the woods and they're here. I ain't got nowhere to run here. Easy. Oh, hang on. Oh. Just... I don't have any food. Tim said be still, but how long do you be still for when there's 110 of beef? Oh, there's more coming. There we go. I won't move if you don't move. I wondered why there was no cows in that field. No, or oh, wait, oh, where are you going? All right, oh. Got the old pincer movement going on here. All right, stay there, stay there. Oh, they're having a laugh, aren't they? All right, I'm just gonna go for it and be brave. <laughs> Being brave. Oh. I just, I'll just walk along this way. There we go, I'll just walk down here, walk away. No, 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 don't follow me. Oh, the glasses. Oh, you bastard. Well, I just tried grabbing a shot, um, pretty much where I got stuck with the cows, which is where I was taking uh, the first kind of couple of images today, but the sun now is really harsh on these trees. Um, and I have kind of got framed up, but, but yeah, it, it's just not doing it for me. So I think I'm gonna call it a day now, actually, in, in Derbyshire. Get back, meet up with Helen and the, and the gang, and have a bit of breakfast, and uh, I may share the story about the cows. I don't know yet. But anyway, thank you ever so much for watching and until the next video, see ya.